Uh, so before I get to the fishing, I just wanted to show you guys some of the new stuff. I mean, these guys just keep coming up with new stuff and, and better stuff. Just when you think you've got the best, other things come along. So let me move it this way around. So this is a new recon rods. They're designed for bass fishing, but uh, I'm going to use them for multi-purpose. So for estuary, bass, lights, rocks, fishing. So the difference here, 30 ton Torre carbon. This is brilliant carbon, this stuff. Eh? Makes a big difference. The other thing that's new on these rods is the um, nano carbon technology. So what, what that is, is basically a, a much thinner, a, a smoother, finer um, resin when they build these rods. So it makes the rod a lot lighter, a lot thinner for, for what it is and also much more sensitive so i can't wait to get these things tested out the recon rods are available in spinning and casting for for the bass guys um, this one here is a six for ten i was chosen mine specifically for the for the type of applications i do and you'll see at the bottom here it's written ned rig so this is a ned rig rod 610 um, very thin little blank um, there you go got a little hook keeper at the bottom um, and very very sensitive very nice little tip action so i'm going to try that out this morning here at empenjati and see what what happens there's eight different models in the um, recon rods uh, two of them are are two piece the rest are all single piece one piece rods here the other one i've chosen for myself is this one here it's a bait casting rod um, this one here you'll see it says weightless deep cranking I've got another plan for this rod and uh, I just because of the tip action I'm going to be using it a lot with these little um, paddle tails light jig heads basically like a Ned Rig rod but a little bit longer so so if you look at this rod I hope you guys can see on the what's there it's quite a long thin rod it's a 711 it's got very nice tip action and that's exactly what I'm looking for in a rod for for moving little baits and that along the bottom so that's the the recon 711 uh, beautiful beautiful rod throws up to 17 pounds uh, these rods guys are brilliant so check them out most of the shops have got them in already uh, have a look at them designed for bass fishing but you'll be able to do just about anything with them Another rod that I'm going to try out later today. I, I'm going to wait till, till I get down to the surf. This is the Akuma Matrix. It's, this is the 11 foot that I have here. They're available in 8 foot, in 10 foot and 11 foot. Uh, beautiful rods. So we brought them in specifically for the guys that are fishing drop shot, um, slow jigs and, and even very light lures, a light bait fishing and that as well. It's a beautiful rod, very soft tip. Um, I don't know if you remember, I fish a lot with the pulse rod. This is on the, along the same line, so let's just reveal this rod. Here we go. You can't really see on there, but it's got a nice little wrap on it around here. The matrix rod, medium heavy. So this one here, yeah, the 11 foot, says one to three ounces, but I'm, I'm convinced this will throw much lighter baits as well. So, so even though it says one ounce on the rod there, you'll probably be able to get away with little one eighth ounces and things like that as well because of the tip action on this rod here uh, PE rating is 1 to 2.5 but I recommend that you fish nothing more than about a 20 pound line on this 20 pound braid um, it's that type of rod it's not it's not meant for pulling heavy things or anything although you'll land big fish on it it's a light rod um, for lure fishing and that off the beach All right, so it comes in a beautiful, shiny white. Oh, well, that's it there. Matrix rod. The nice thing about this, unfortunately, I haven't got a line on there, is the tip is extremely, extremely soft. Let me get it on you. So it made for working those little small baits and that. Um, little drop shots and that beautiful rod it's extremely light i don't like 11 foot you'll see most of my videos are done with eight foot and below rods because throwing an 11 foot all day kills your arms and that uh, especially when you've got to throw over and over again and uh, this rod is very light eh? it's a beautiful rod, rod um, very sensitive you can feel that action right through the rod yeah 
Um, but all the action is in the top, in the tip itself, well, you won't be able to see that, but uh, in the tip itself is what you want is so that you can work those little lures in there. So guys, that's it, the Akuma Matrix rod, 8 foot, 10 foot, 11 a foot, available in most of the shops are already. Uh, check it out, they are selling very fast, uh, so if you need something, you're wanting something for Christmas, get in there very quickly. I'm here at uh, Impenjati. Oh, some nice uh, bream on the edge here. Yeah? I'm going to give these recon rods a try. It's my first try with these recon rods. Uh, they just feel amazing. You know, when you, when I'm dropping that, that lure, as it's bouncing around there, I can feel everything on there. The sensitivity of this rod is incredible. Um, one thing I didn't mention on the earlier video is it's got, this is 316 stainless steel, the, the guide says, so perfect for inshore use as well. I think these are zirconium inserts, so it's perfect for braid in that as well. Uh, beautifully made up little rod. This is a 610 and uh, let's give it a try. As, a, as I mentioned, it's a Ned Rig rod, so here we go. A little Ned Rig with a little Ned hook there, sorry, with a river prawn. It is really windy today, but let's see how it goes. Very light, very, very light little bait here. See what happens. The water's very far down, so it can't be very deep at all. There's also a little perch here, and I got you. I think I'm going to get more there by the bridge because there's a deep hole there that I can get into. So I'm going to go off to the bridge there shortly. And let me give it a few casts here. So I have to go down somehow. It's quite steep here. Uh, Sucks getting older. Oh. Let's have a couple of casts along here without sinking in the mud. Oh, the mud is cast beautifully, even into the wind. I don't know if I'm going to get much here because it's very, very shallow. Although I did see some big perch here. That's right. I think the, there is a seven foot uh, medium light as well, which is also a nice rod, very similar action to this. Um, I'm not used to the 610 yet, but it does. It, 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 the, the sensitivity is phenomenal. I can feel the little, little things on the bottom there quite easily. Oh. But there's no fish around. Not here anyway, I think it's way too shallow here. I'm going to throw with the wind now and see what I get. But I know I'm throwing into a very shallow spot there. I think it's best to go to the bridge. It's best to go down there underneath the bridge. Ah. Oh. against the edge there because maybe there's some perch down there. It would be nice to get a fish on the rod first time out. Not the best conditions. But fishing is fishing. No, let me go to the bridge. Let me go to the bridge. How the 11 foot matrix stars. Okay, the reel's a bit small for you. I got a little 40 reel that was in my car. And I got a one eight ounce jigged, very light jigged, with a four inch jerk winner. And I'm getting eaten by ants. Why are they biting like crazy? This is very shallow, yeah. I'm gonna try this under the bridge there quickly. Let's see if there's anything. Ay, ay, ay.
try it under the bridge and then and then come back all right so unfortunately i spent about 45 minutes here um up and down not a single bump anyway it's out guys i was happy to get some fish in the new tackle but hopefully you guys saw it i think everything is happening on the other side today um but yeah i uh, still got a long way to go um you know, go back and uh, see some customers and then hopefully get some chance this afternoon to fish again hopefully i'll get something on the new tackle all at the other places today dead i didn't fish long so i'm taking a walk this afternoon you can guess where So here at South Pier, just got here, had one cast. I've got a, I think it's a 3 8 ounce to get on yeah, And a, a 5 inch paddle tail. Let's see what happens. 20 pound leader only, so a little bit light for you. Let's see if we can hook something. What I'm doing is letting it go right down, and right on the bottom. If you go too far down, then you just get rocks, so you gotta be careful. Count down, 30 seconds. Might go with a four inch now, now. And if we caught Dorado on the boat just around the corner here, yeah, they've got to be around here as well. Nice to get one. Hope I at least catch something today. I haven't caught anything the whole day, not a bite. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna go with the jerkbait. I see there's some chasing against the edge here of the mullet. Let's try the jerkbait now. Um, So for nothing, I don't know where those mullets have gone to. Oh, there we go. Oh, missed him, missed him, missed him. Edit. And I messed up my lure. Hit it. Oh, there's a the mullet back again. Let's see what's chasing them. There you go. Yeah, there's plenty here. Come through quickly. Ah, there you go. First on. Are they yeah, they're still there. Full up. Ah. There you go. Last one. Oh, the last one. Yeah. Now I need that pliers, eh? Yeah. I can't bend down with that. Yeah. 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 Sun is setting over Durban. I've got one shed. I've had a lot of hits from shad, but I'm using a 5-inch and they just seem to 
bite it in half. So it's been an expensive little episode today. And hopefully the kingies will be here shortly as the sun goes down. And then we'll get some decent fish. Oh, that's it. Not really good fishing day today. There were quite a few shad caught here, but they all came on little jerk baits. Nothing else, not even the bait the guys are catching on. Just came on little jerk baits. Um, chartreuse colors. Um, I got one on the SD3, had a lot of hits, but no real takes. But what a wonderful afternoon magic there we go the sun setting over Durban absolutely worth coming out here anyway and I get fit which is a bonus so I'm gonna have a couple of costs on the way back while I walk down along the front here and uh, see if I get anything along here if I get anything I'll turn you back on otherwise I'll see you with another adventure shortly I just turned the camera off on the same cast and I'm on. I don't know what it is. Decent little fish. I don't know what it is. It's a black tail or something. Oh, it's a kingy. Oh, it's a little kingy. There we go. That's it. Got in my big eye kingy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have a look at it there. That's it. On the sunset. Get that hook out. Little guy. He gave me quite a tussle on that rod. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is sunset over Durban. Quite late now, and I've got to start the long walk back home again. But beautiful day, not a lot of fish, but at least I got a fish on my new Matrix rod. And just to say that I'm extremely impressed. What a rod! Uh, looking forward to catching some fish in the future with that. Anyway, till our next adventure. Cheers.